if you wanted to learn how to add Google Analytics to your website in a few easy steps and without touching any code, then you've clicked on the right video. Google Analytics can tell you so much about how your website's performing and how visitors behave on your website. These insights can help you improve and optimize your website to grow your brand and improve sales for your business. And trying to do that without Google Analytics can be extremely difficult. And it's kind of like trying to drive while blindfolded. You won't be getting to your destination anytime soon. But before we get going, if you're new to the channel, we're Brainstorm Force. We're the company behind the famous Astra theme, and we create content about our latest product updates, as well as WordPress tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you're interested in growing your WordPress capabilities, then make sure you subscribe down below and turn on notifications. In this tutorial, we'll be using a very cool plugin called Monster Insights. It lets us install Google Analytics on our WordPress website without any coding, it lets us view our analytics straight out of the WordPress dashboard. And this is much more convenient than having to log on to Google Analytics itself because we're already used to the interface of the WordPress dashboard rather than having to kind of learn and adjust ourselves to a more complex looking interface on Google Analytics itself. And this is kind of what it will look like once we have it installed and set up. You can see that they have some of the different metrics for your website all displayed at a glance on your WordPress dashboard. And that's what we're trying to do today. And we will be using a free version of the plugin, but paid subscriptions are available as well for more in-depth analytics and features. And don't worry about these prices too much because once you use the light version, it does give you a discount code to upgrade as well if you'd like to do that. And some of these features we'll talk about later on in the video. But first, I'm going to mention an alternative plugin to Monster Insights. There are some alternative plugins that perform very similar to Monster Insights, notably Google's dedicated plugin, Google SiteKit. Google SiteKit does provide insights straight on your WordPress dashboard as well, just like Monster Insights. But Google SiteKit does have support for Google Search Console and Google AdSense. Google Search Console is sort of like a Google service that lets you optimize the visibility of your website, while Google AdSense is Google's ad platform. So Google SiteKit does provide support for both of these because they are Google services themselves. And this is what Google SiteKit looks like. You can see that it looks a little bit more simple than Monster Insights. It only shows you some very basic insights on your WordPress dashboard. For the rest of that, you have to log into your Google Analytics page. And although Google SiteKit is a great option for the reasons I've just mentioned, it also appears that Google does not regularly release updates for this plugin. So when Google Analytics 4, the latest version, was released, a colleague of mine found that Google SiteKit was not actually compatible with Google Analytics 4 at the time. In contrast, Monster Insights releases new versions monthly and even weekly. So in my opinion, it will be more reliable since it's more frequently updated. And there's also some metrics that Google Analytics by itself does not track. These include tracking categories, tags, and authors on your blog posts, the keywords that are bringing you the most traffic, as well as tracking metrics like affiliate link clicks and number of downloads for the files on your website. And these are all metrics provided by Monster Insights on top of what you get with Google Analytics. And these are some of the reasons why I wanted to demonstrate this tutorial with Monster Insights. Now we can finally proceed to the tutorial and I'll show you step by step how to set up a Google Analytics account, how to install Monster Insights on your WordPress dashboard, and also how to connect your Monster Insights to your Google Analytics account. It's really easy, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is go to analytics.google.com. I'm going to click on that. And when you arrive at Google Analytics' website, they're going to ask you to choose a Google account to sign in with. If you already have an account, you can proceed by clicking on the account. Otherwise, you can sign up for a brand new Google account as well. I'm just going to click on this one here. And this is what the Google Analytics dashboard will look like. And the first thing we're going to do, if you don't see the screen, you have to come down on the left hand side menu all the way to the bottom. This gear sign, you're going to press that and that will bring you into your admin menu. And from there, we're going to go on the top left corner here where it says create account. By created account, this is completely unrelated to your Google account, which we just used to sign into your analytics account with. Think of this account as sort of like a folder where you'll be storing all the information related to whatever website you're going to be tracking with Google Analytics. And this will be the name of the folder that contains everything else that you're tracking that are related to each other. I'm just going to type in the name of the website. Just like that. Down here, these checkboxes don't matter too much. It's just whether you want to share your analytics data with Google so that they can serve you better, use them for benchmarks or when providing technical support, things like that. It's up to you whether you uncheck them or not. I'm just going to leave them as default for the purpose of this tutorial. And then I'm going to press next at the bottom here. In this tip, it says it's property setup. So a property is basically your website, your app, or a blog, or whatever you want to track. And over in this menu, we're going to be entering a name 
it helps you identify exactly what you're tracking. For example, if it's the website name, you can enter that here. If it's an app's name, you can enter that as well. I'm just going to type in. I'm just indicating that it's a website. So if I look at it later on, I know exactly what it is. And then over here, you can change to your exact time zone that you'd like to monitor. I'm currently in New Zealand, so I could, if I wanted to, I can type in New Zealand and change it to that. For this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it on United States, Los Angeles time. And if you have an e-commerce store or anything like that, it helps to add exact currency that you wish to monitor. And they give you a bunch of different options here. And next, we're going to come down here to show advanced options. And that's going to pop out this new menu down here. This is create a universal analytics property. And this is a setting that enables some additional measurement options. And we need this to set up Monster Insights. I'm just going to go ahead and press toggle here so that we include it. And then you can see that it asks us to enter the website domain name. I'm just going to type in the name of the website we're using for this tutorial. Like that. And then we just have to come down here and press create a universal analytics property. And that's all done here. We can press next. Over here, it's asking us to enter information related to our business. We can go ahead and press our industry. I'm just going to, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to press food and drink. It's going to be a small business. And we're going to come down and, and over here, you can check all that apply to yourself. So I'm just going to go ahead and check a bunch of these. It really depends on what your Google Analytics needs are going to be. And once that's all done, we're going to go down to the bottom and press create. And if you'd like to, you can have a full read of the terms of service, but we're just going to press, and press accept. Now, gone ahead and created our property for the website that we're tracking. And you'll notice here that it's provided us with a tracking ID as well as this global site tag code. Now, normally, if you were doing this the manual way, you could take this code and add it into your WordPress theme or into your WordPress header. It will start tracking your website and record all the analytics within Google Analytics itself. And because this tutorial involves no coding whatsoever, we're not going to mess around with that. And that's all you need to do within Google Analytics to set up your Google Analytics account for your website. Now we can go ahead and close that and go back to our WordPress dashboard. And here we are on our WordPress dashboard. I've actually removed the Google Site Kit that you saw earlier. I've reset it and removed it. It's recommended to only have one Google Analytics plugin working at any time. This is just to make sure that all the analytical data it's recording is as accurate as possible. So next, we're going to be installing Monster Insights. So we're going to go down on the bottom left, the plugins. We're going to press Add New. And we're going to search for Monster Insights. And the plugin is going to be this purple, really cool looking monster over here. And it says Monster Insights. We're going to press the Install Now button. We're also going to press Activate. And once that's done, you can see that the Monster Insights plugin is now installed and we can proceed from there. It gives you a tutorial video if you'd like to see, but why would you watch that when you have us? <laughs> and um, it also has the launch wizard to finish setting it up. We'll get to that in a minute. It also has a guide that you can read if you'd like to do that and mention some of the features and add-ons it provides over here. And you can click this button to have a look at all the features for yourself. It also includes an option to upgrade to the pro version for $199. But for beginner purposes, the free version will be more than enough. It's just that with the pro version, you get a whole lot more in-depth features. And you can have a look at the features yourself and determine whether purchasing a pro option will be right for you. In my opinion, for most blogs and beginner level websites, the free version will be more than enough. If you own a really successful, high-performing e-commerce store, for example, where every little optimization counts and can make you more money, then it can be worth looking into getting one of these paid pro options. And below that, you can see some of the testimonials as well. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and launch the wizard and begin setting up Monster Insights. And we'll be connecting it to our Google Analytics account, which we just created earlier. And the first thing is it's going to ask you to describe, best describe your website. You can go ahead and choose which one it is. I'm just going to proceed with business website, save and continue. And we're going to end up here. And it does mention that you're using Monster Insights Lite, which is a free version. And we don't need a license for that. And now we can press this button over here to connect Google Analytics to our WordPress website. And this might look familiar because we use the same kind of sign in menu to log into Google Analytics. You have to choose the same account that we use to set up Google Analytics with. And for me, it's this one over here. I'm just going to click that and log in. If it asks you to log in with your password, you can do so. And on this screen, it's just asking for permission for us to let Monster Insights access our Google account. You're just going to go down here and press allow. 
And on this list, it will show you all the properties that have been created on your Google Analytics account. And of course, the one we just created before is right there. We're going to click that. And if you can't find your site, it will give you some helpful tips here to fix that. And if you'd like to receive promo options or updates about Monster Insights, you can leave this checked. And we're going to go ahead and press Complete Connection. And on step three, you can see some of the options that Monster Insights provides that Google Analytics doesn't provide by itself, as I mentioned before. And one of these, for example, is that it tracks the number of times a file is downloaded on your website. And you can specify which file extensions that you want it to track. You've got doc, PDF, and many more here, and you can add them onto the list here too. And you can also track certain affiliate links. You can see that the suffix is entered here for your website URL, and you can label them as well so you can track them independently and track how many visitors are coming to your website through certain affiliate links. This is very helpful for influencers and businesses that work with influencers with different affiliate programs or similar. And further down, you can also specify who can see your analytics reports based on their credentials on your WordPress dashboard. So at the moment, you've got administrator, editor, and you can add more down here as well. And these are all features that are only possible with Monster Insights. And you can also toggle to enable automatic updates, which is really helpful. And you can also choose to provide Monster Insights with your data as well, so they can improve their products and things like that. We're going to leave it as is, and we're going to press save and continue. You know, this tip is just a little bit of an upsell from Monster Insights, where it recommends some of the add-ons. And once again, it mentions that you can get 50% off when you upgrade from the free version to one of the pro plans. And some of the add-ons they recommend are Monster Insights forms, where you can track the form views, submissions, conversions, as it says here. And you can track insights for individual posts on your blog. You can look into that if you'd like. For now, we're just going to hit save and continue. Awesome, we're all set and that's it. That's all you have to do to set up Monster Insights on your WordPress dashboard. We're just going to press finish setup and exit. Congratulations, you're now connected with Monster Insights. You'll notice on the left hand side of your dashboard that you have an insights tab. And below that, you can go to reports. And this is where you'll see all your Monster Insights analytics at a glance on your WordPress dashboard. At the moment, there's nothing there because we just set up our Google Analytics account just earlier. But once that's all ready, once that's done and people start visiting your website, you'll start seeing all the metrics displayed right here. Very easy to see at a glance. All right, and now it's been a few days since we installed Monster Insights on this website. I just wanted to let Monster Insights collect some data on this website before I walk you through and show you what you can expect with Monster Insights on your dashboard. And as you can see here, the first graph you see is the overview report which shows you the number of sessions in the last 30 days. And if you want to change that from the last 30 days to something custom or something different, you will have to upgrade to the pro plan. So you're kind of limited with that, but the last 30 days should be more than enough to get started. And you can see on the bottom here, it shows you that in the last 30 days, we had 13 sessions as indicated on this graph as well. And down here, you also see how that performance is compared to the last, the previous 30 days. So at the moment, it's 100% better than the previous 30 days because 13 sessions is obviously better than zero. And over on the top here in the next tab, you can see the number of page views. And from what I can understand from this is that the visitors to this website are only visitors coming through from our YouTube channel. So they're landing on the home page and not really exploring the website or checking out the other pages any further. So that's why the number of sessions is equal to the number of page views. They're only checking out the home page. So at the moment, we've currently got 13 page views as well. And beside that, you see average session duration. And at the moment, it shows zero seconds, which tells me that visitors are probably not spending significant time on the website for it to record and show us in the insights. And the last one we see here is bounce rate. So it's telling us that everyone that lands on this website are exiting the website without exploring it further. And normally that's really bad because 100% bounce rate means that everyone who's landing on the website is exiting it straight after. And if you see something like that, you'd want to change that. In this case, it's fine. It's just a dummy website. I'm just trying to show you how it can look like. And down here, we see the coupon code I talked about where you can upgrade from the free version of Monster Insights into the pro version. If you'd like to do that, there's a button here which you can click on to do so. And below that, you can see the percentage of new versus returning visitors indicated by this pie chart here as well. And you can see 85% of the visitors to a website 
has been new visitors and a 15% returning visitors as well. And on the right hand side, it also shows you the device breakdown. So which devices that our visitors are using to access our website. And it's interesting that 100% of the visitors are from the desktop. And this information can help you optimize the content of your website to suit the device that most of your visitors are using. And on the left here, we have the top 10 countries. And at the moment, we can see that 10 visitors are from the United States and the remaining three are from New Zealand. And that right hand side, remember when we set up Monster Insights, we saw that we can enter in referral links. And this is where it shows you which link is performing the best and bringing in the most visitors to your website. And that will all be ranked here on the right hand side. And lastly, we see top posts and pages. And like I said, everyone's just visiting the home page and not really exploring the site any further. So obviously the one page that has registered any visits, the home page is going to show up at the top here. But if visitors are checking out other pages, you'll see them below the first one here as well. And that's it for the main page. And that's basically all you get with the free version of Monster Insights in terms of what you can see on the dashboard. If you want to dive further in and check out even more detailed analytics, you can of course check out your Google Analytics dashboard and check out the metrics you can see from there. And with the paid plans, you can also get access to features that you see on the top here in the top bar like publishers. You can get more in-depth insights into how your pages are performing, traffic sources, download links tracking, which we talked about before. And that also looks like it's only part of the pro plan. And then you can also get insights into the search console analytics. You can learn about the discoverability of your website and how it performs on Google search. And like I said, this is a free feature on Google site kit, but the depth of insight you get on Google site kit might be less than monster insights. And in the e-commerce tab, you can get in-depth e-commerce insights. And this can be beneficial for you if you have a successful e-commerce store where every little optimization can have a potential to bring in more money for your business. And with dimensions, it gives you further insight into each post on your WordPress website. And as you can see here, which author's content is most popular, which posts and categories are performing the best and more. And then we have forms where you can get in-depth insights into how visitors interact with any forms on your website with this tab. And the last two tabs, you have real time, which has real time data refreshed every 60 seconds and also some information on your website speed. And this is another feature you can check out for free with Google Site Kit as well. But remember that most of these analytics are all available in Google Analytics if you want to dive deeper without purchasing a Monster Insights Pro plan. And if you only want to get an idea of how your website's performing and to be able to track it on a basic level, then the free version of Monster Insights should be more than enough for you. And that's it. That's how Monster Insights works with our WordPress website. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if you had any trouble or if you got stuck setting this up. And I'll be more than happy to help you out. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. But before you close this video, consider clicking on this playlist here if you want to check out more WordPress tutorials. And you can click on our logo here to subscribe. And make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.